I have a confession to make. I'm addicted to buying seeds. I have, I have another box. <laughs> I ordered some more seeds from Johnny's because I can't stop myself. And I thought I would have, <laughs> have you come along to see what I bought. I kind, kind of remember what I bought this time, but um, maybe not everything. I don't know. So, but once I get started, I just can't stop. It's like it's it's a thing. It's uh, you know, everything is so pretty. Everything is so, you know, I want to grow, I want to grow everything. That's my thing. I want to grow everything. Oh, it's Amy with Highfield Farms. I probably should have said that at the beginning of the video. Um, I'm so happy to have you guys here with me and, and follow along with this process. It's, I could talk flowers all day and my kids get so tired of it. So, um, I only have about... Three, four, five, six, seven, maybe nine. Nine packets of seeds in this order. So <clears throat> we will pull them out. Okay. So first up is I have Rudbeckia. And Rudbeckia is the, I guess it must be Latin, Latin name for Black Eyed Susans. So um, the first one I have here is Cherokee Sunset Mix. I have grown this before. I grew this this past season, um, and it was great. It's wonderful, like, burnt orange color. It's a double black-eyed Susan, so it's got lots and lots of petals. It's not just, like, the single form with, like, the, like the fan of petals that you're used to seeing growing wild. So um, this is good. I'll start this soon. Uh, Sah Sahara Rebeccia. It's an also a double variety. I'm hoping this one has some more like rose colors in it in, as opposed to the burnt oranges that I got with the uh, Cherokee Sunset. So I'm excited about this one. I've not grown this one before. Next one is Prairie Sun Rebeccia. And this one is a single form. It doesn't have the multitude of petals uh, like the doubles do. Um, but it has, instead of a, a dark eye in the center of the flower, it's got actually a green one. And I understand that the petals are not, they're not quite as long as another variety I grew that was called Indian Summer. And those, those the, they were beautiful flowers, but they were almost too large. Like the petals were so long that they got floppy. So I'm hoping that with this, maybe the flower form being a little bit smaller, that... It won't be so floppy. They were still good, but they just were a little floppy. So that one was Prairie Sun. And then I ordered, so this is called, this is a hibiscus. I've never grown this. It's called Mahogany Splendor. This is a foliage that I'm going to try and grow. And hopefully it'll be, I understand it likes heat, so that should be good. Um, I'd like to grow it for the late summer, early, you know, fall time, because it's a, it's a, ma it's mahogany colored. It's red, reddish brown colored. So it should um, be nice leaves for arrangements. I ordered two different scabiosas. These are actually perennial varieties of scabiosa. Scabiosa is also called pincushion flower. And I got a deep blue, fama deep blue and fama white. And so um, I've never grown these before and I'm hoping that I'll be able to maybe get them to perennialize maybe for like you know three years to do like a three year cycle where I'm, I'm you know adding new fresh plants every couple of years to keep you know the best freshest crop going. I ordered some Dianthus. This is Sweet William Dianthus. Um, it's white, all white. I've never grown this one. I've grown um, some different varieties of, of Sweet William, um, but I wanted to try to get some white. I always, I'm always drawn to colors with flowers and I I tend to overlook white flowers a little bit just because I like bold colors, but I wanted to really make sure that I had a good white in the mix for next year. This is flax. I ordered some flax. I've grown flax before. This one's called cherry caramel, and in the past I've grown uh, mix, mix colors, which is nice, but then it's difficult to know what I'm going to have. So this one is, um, they're kind of like a like a champagne colored petal that fades into like a red center. 
um, or like a like a cherry colored center, and so oh, cherry caramel, right? Okay, well, I, I guess the name describes it. So um, I'm excited to grow this one. And then I bought some perennial lupin, and I've grown annual lupin before. It did it did fine. It probably could have used some some netting to keep it more upright. I didn't do that. I was kind of lazy in the spring. So this year. Um, or next summer, I guess I should say, I'll do better about making sure I stake everything. And so I think these are going to be about, or they're going to be in the blue range of colors. Let's see, what does it say? Violet blue. Oh, it does say pink, white, red, yellow, peach, or deep blue to purple combinations. We'll see. The picture showed it being all like blues and purples, so we'll see if I get if I get reds and whites and pinks. But anyway, it's fun no matter what, so I'm excited about that. I bet I could start this now. Zones four to eight. I'm gonna try it. Okay, so thanks for coming along, and hopefully you'll see all these flowers blooming in the spring. Bye bye.